It's a national embezo tonight. As we are waiting the arrival of the CIC of the EFF shortly, you can, also, of course, give us a ring on 011-440-1396. What did you think of the conversations we have had since 7 o'clock? Do you believe any of these leaders? Do you think that any of them will give you uh, joy at the election? Commander-in-chief <laughs> in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Commander in chief in the house. We're gonna be talking here. You know, I, I I've been I've been curious. Thank you for for being here. Yeah, really appreciate you. your thank time you always. Invite. Right. Um, uh, we've got an hour, and I want us to just yeah, focus sure. on a few controversial issues. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I wanted to couch tonight's um conversation so in, i was asking the yeah. question what is he going to ask me because me and him have been speaking talking for, for, for many you know we time. have three hours <laughs> yeah that's, that's why we must talk about fresh controversial things that happened in the last three four weeks okay. i want to talk about constituencies tonight mm -hmm. right you, you are very strong on the african child mm -hmm. right and actually a lot of people have criticized you about a couple of how you pick your constituencies. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about, let's start with the African question. A lot of people are saying, you know, if Julius Malema could just stand up one day and just say, we're going to close the borders, mm. she, you could get 50% more votes, right? Yes. And I want us to deal with that because I've just, if you listen to a, a, a patriotic alliance, they're talking about a, a mass deportation. Right? Mm. You'd listen to Mashaba, same sort of story, mm. slightly tweaked. I was interested to hear Sabisa this evening, mm -hmm. uh, you know, almost say, taking a different view to say, no, 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 we can't come here with a sort of a xenophobic approach. Mm -hmm. Can we deal with that to say, is it a, a, a fair uh, assessment to say that you have not particularly read your constituency mm -hmm. about how they feel about foreigners and the fact that foreigners may take their jobs, etc., etc. They may be part of crimes, they may be part of drugs, what have you. Let's deal with that frankly tonight. Well, I'm <laughs> happy that we are in Alexander. Mm. So there was a xenophobic attack here in Alex, mm. where people who were selling somewhere on the streets mm. were removed. Yeah. Successfully by those things of Dodola, what, 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 was successful. Yeah, yeah. And that space was empty mm. for almost three days. Yeah. And Alexander people were the ones who were complaining that we want to buy tomatoes. Yeah. Want to buy vegetables. Yeah. And the people have been chased away, the people that we buy from. Yeah. If that was a genuine issue, mm. why after chasing those people from empty spaces, didn't South Africans go and occupy that space? and sell mm. those tomatoes mm. since they took your job and you successfully removed them. Mm. So why didn't you go and take the space that those people occupied? So it's not a genuine concern. Yeah. It's an attack. You yeah. know, you look at, you're splitting hair because there's nothing can attack the EFF yeah. in terms of principle. Uh, JJ, when we started, th this is, is in our founding manifest. It has never been an issue. The issue was expropriation of land without compensation. Yeah. They went everywhere and told people, that yeah. was the, an attack on the EFF. Yeah. When that was articulated very well and we stayed on it and never got shaken, they moved away. They said they are going to nationalize the banks. They are going to nationalize uh, the mines. We yeah. said... This is our nationalization. We establish a state-owned mining company yeah. that is going to compete with the private sector. This is our nationalization of the banks. We establish a state-owned bank to compete with the commercial banks. Yeah. And you can't say this will destroy the banks. Why didn't public schools destroy private schools? Why do we have private school and have private public schools? Parallel, we live and side by side. The mm. private schools are still doing business even when there is public schools. Yeah. Why do we have private hospitals and public hospitals? And private hospitals are making more money even when there is an existence of public uh, hospitals. So, I so who said a public <coughs> bank will yeah. close a, a private bank? So Pri public mining company yeah. will close... Are you saying a call clear? to say South Africa first is a wrong call? Because if it is. Uh, uh, if you know, I asked Sabisa about jobs, he's mm. saying uh, that approach to jobs is a South African first. They need to, if there's somebody in South Africa can do their job, don't give their job to a Zimbabwean. Have that, you ever listened to me talking about jobs? The EFF thing mm. is jobs. Mm. It's land and jobs now. Mm. Stop load shedding. 
And I say, this ANC people sleep with you to give you a job. Mm. We're going to stop that. Yeah. The only requirement you want is to have a South African ID mm. and have the qualifications. Yeah. South African ID, you South Africa first. South African yeah. ID. I mm. don't have to say South Africa first. Yeah. It's and I don't have to be anti-Africans. Yeah. When I say I love my wife, it doesn't mean I hate Sito. Yeah. No, I say South Africans, you will be a priority in terms of your qualifications and yeah. all of that. Because these are their but jobs. Don't, but you don't you think your message there is not accentuated then? Because people are always using a cloud that says, oh, this guy's going to open the borders and hire all the people from Zimbabwe. So South Africans are people who are very open about everything. Mm. They would have said to me in the biggest rallies, stop that thing we are talking about. Yeah. Once I start talking about the love for Africans and how this country yeah. must unite the African continent, yeah. the whole stadium is receptive. Mm. Tell me of a country that is rich because of borders. Oh no, that country is very successful. It's a world-class country because of a fence. They've got a fence. And a fence led to success. Yeah. America has got no fence. 54 states. Mm. Under one president, United States of America. Mm. Why are they not putting fence for themselves? Why is Europe not putting friends? If friends is a prerequisite for success, yeah. for a country to prosper, you need a fence. And even if you need a fence, there is no fence between Zimbabwe and South Africa. Mackenzie went, he showed you, there's no yeah. fence. <laughs> there's no yeah. fence in Lesotho. Actually, he thought he was exposing uh, that they, 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 these people have got no fence. We've been to I said that long time ago, I said, you are acting like mad people. You have a gate, but you don't have a fence. Mm. And then you come back at your house without a fence. You open a gate to enter your yard. Mm. It doesn't make sense. There is no fence. Africans have moved. It yeah. is only those who are threatened by the unity of the Africans yeah. who perpetuate a message of hatred. But my last point is, why do you hate me for saying people must unite? I'm not dividing people. It seems that it be, it's a become an election issue because if you, you just have to look at what the ANC is doing in terms of the amendment of the um, uh, uh, Migration or Immigration Act, right? Do you think they are falling into that trap that they, they feel the noise of people uh, uh, as anti-African sentiment or anti-foreigner sentiment and they are now trying to fit into that, strengthen the borders, appoint the border management agency, you saw the border management agency mm -hmm. they were in full force this weekend, etc. Well, my brother, the 2019 yeah. anti-EFF campaign was dishing out title deeds. Mm. We don't want to take your land. Yeah, the title deeds. Yeah. Even people got title deeds here in Alexander. I'm like, to do what with that title deed? Yeah. Because it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. If anything, Alexander needs massive development, not title deeds. Mm. So they said that in 2019. Mm. We, we, we were unshaken about it. Mm -hmm. And we still didn't win elections. I will never engage in a political expediency. Yeah at the altar of a principle. Rather die on a principle with your boots on than to die an amuba, shapeless. This one pulls you that way, this one pulls you that way. Before we know it, you've got no shape. You are shapeless and we can't define what kind of animal is this. Yeah. I'm saying we need a borderless Africa for free movements of people and goods. And that free movement of people and goods doesn't mean undocumented. Because if I didn't want undocumented people, I would have said, don't take ID South Africans. Yeah. What are you doing with documents? All of us have to be identified. And it is documentation that will identify who we are. Even when African state is united, you still have to tell which, from which state are you. Europe without borders. They're still Italians. They're still Germans. They still uh, the British who yeah. are saying they're exiting uh, that thing. So you don't believe so in this whole thing about illegal immigration? You, you are saying that the borders must be open enough for, 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 for Africans to unite. You can't be illegal in Africa as African. Mm. Because if you follow that, all of us in this room will be in danger. Our roots come from there in the continent. Yeah. We're so all your, the whole there. hype about border management authority, you don't buy it? I, I don't care about that. It's, it's, a, it's a, like you said, it's a gimmick. 
it's an election gimmick. Yeah. They are, they, after that, they are going to leave it. The ANC, yeah. the ANC, none of these people, mm. except Sir Ramaphosa, mm. crossed into Africa with a passport. Mm. They didn't have any documents. Jacob Zuma, Thabo Mbeki and them, they went. I, I think they have soon forgotten that. And the they're, fact that they're now telling us another story. Mm. When they were there, O.R. Tambo was treated like a state president by other African states. Yeah. But do you know that Nigeria, civil servants, had a money deducted from their salaries uh, called the Liberation Fund, official from government mm. salaries to finance liberation movements in Africa, including the ANC and the PAC, mm. so you for us to be liberated. The, 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 the EFF is going to stand by this principle. You are not going to be swayed by, by election mode where you people are beginning to say, be soft, be, be a little bit soft on this whole issue of open borders. Well, my brother, mm. here is the whole manifesto. Mm. We have an issue with one. Yeah. What is your problem? Who said you are going to find a perfect woman? Where? <laughs> She's so beautiful, but she might have those things of being noisy or something, but yeah. I can work on that. Yeah. So there's nothing called beautiful. Even DNA, yeah. when you test children DNA, it doesn't say 100%. It said 99 On the basis of that one that is missing there, yeah. this is not my child. All right. You sound like a fool if you, a person argues like that. All right, let's talk about the second constituency now. Yes. White people... There is a, 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 a narrative about EFF and white because your emphasis obviously uh, African child etc. Mm -hmm. You've always said you're not against white people. You are for black the black mm -hmm. child, right? Let's talk about let's talk to Africaners today. And yeah. some of them may be listening in some of the community radio stations joining us here tonight, right? And some are saying, hey, if Julius gets into the union buildings, you know we are going to run for the hills. What do you say to them tonight? If you put an Englishman here mm. and put an African here yeah. and make me choose, I'll choose African here. Why? Because you d you know what you're dealing with. You a know racist of an note. <laughs> he doesn't pretend. Yeah. He doesn't uh, create an impression that uh, we're together when we're not together. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, the other second point I like about uh, African is that yeah. majority of them have got one passport. Mm. So their loyalty is with this country. Mm. They might have a difficulty of identifying with us as one thing because they believe in two nations in yeah. one country. But these other ones, uh, white liberals that Biko had a problem with, mm. are the most dangerous people mm. who, during the day, denounces all manner of things, and then they go behind closed walls to speak very bad about us and exclude us from our own economy. Mm. Africaners have fought. Yeah. They fought against the British. They fought against uh, their co colonial suppression yeah. in the country because they too were oppressed and had to fight for their own liberation against the British colonialism. So those are the kind of people that I will deal There's no white person I can drive to the sea. Mm. I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. That has never been. But my are you attention. reaching out to these people to see what they are? They are fierce. You remember even the, 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 the '94 era coming. There was mm. always this thing about white fears, mm -hmm. black aspirations, you uh, know, uh, 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 contradistinctions between the two, etc. Looks like we are back there because white people seem to still be in this corner, and that's why you have organizations that are mobilizing on the basis of that fear. How do you conquer that? I mean, you, you listen to what John Stenison said after your 10th anniversary, talking about trying to, to hype the issue of, of kill the boer. And then even said, the year is genocide and went overseas and what have you. And that just showed that there's still, to, there's still a sense in which people can mobilize whites against something like the EFF that is talking about transformation, etc. Big issues about land, what, what that may be seen to be threatening Africaners. Well, <coughs> uh, there is nothing I can do mm. to contest with Swar Khafar. Mm. It's a Swar Khafar. It's not real. Mm. It's, it's a it's a scare mongering mm. that these people, when they take over, they're going to do this. This yeah. is the same thing about Mandel. Yeah, that we're not going to be led by a prisoner mm. who's going to come and take our land. Of course, he was talking nationalization himself, Mandela, at the time. Absolutely. In so, the first few days. Yes. <laughs> and, of then, his uh, and then <coughs> they left. 
those are the hobos, the white hobos you see today here in South Africa. They left, left their properties at the Val River. They left and said, these people are going to kill us. When they were there, they realized they are not rich. The rent, compared to those currencies, there is nothing. Mm. Some of them had to do the jobs that we were doing for them outside there. Mm. And they said, the best thing, let's go back. Mm. And when they came back, it was too late. So I, I can't deal with that. And yeah. these things of ours are written in English. Yeah. And of late, I saw the <laughs> SDS printed Africans now. Yeah. And all different <coughs> languages. So uh, they can read that for themselves. And they know what I want. Because that's what they Africans wanted. I want what Africaners wanted from the British. Mm. I'm asking for the same thing, and they know what that means. It means that they are going to be in a dinner table with monkeys, mm. and they don't want that. This boy is asking for mad things. How can I be equal to my subject? So we cannot listen to that. We listen to genuine concerns. Yeah. Let's go to the white Africaners. They gave each other land in the 90s when they know when they knew 1994 is coming, the mm. clerk and them went to explain to them, ran referendum, said, guys, let's allocate ourselves. There was a road that was built between Rustenberg and Mafiging. And this yeah. story, I get told by Tandi Mudisa, she's still alive. Yeah. When they were building this road to Mafiging, they had to go past the farms. When they passed the farms, they are expropriating land. Mm. But South Africa's law says when you expropriate land, uh, you must compensate. Yeah. Now they say to the white Afrikaners, bring title deeds so that we can uh, compensate you for the piece of land we took when we're passing by your farm. No, 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 no. That is my contribution. That is my contribution. You know why? They don't have title deeds. Mm. Most of these farmers don't have title deeds. They were given, they gave to each other. There's yeah. a comrade of mine <coughs> who went to take a land in uh, Midval. Uh, when we're occupying land, told this white Afrikaner, my guy, from here to here, from today, is me. That man said, I'm going to fight with you. I'm going to take you to police station. You can't take my land. And this comrade says to me, I just went to buy a fence and I fenced that place. Yeah. One neighbor's me and that guy. <laughs> he can't go anywhere. He doesn't have a title deed. Yeah. He was told as he was doing door to door. It's not from Midval. Yeah. Oh, no, there is an Afrikaner there who has taken a huge piece of land and everybody is scared, very scared of that guy. Yeah. My guy is now farming pigs mm. in that land. And the Afrikaners, they are together, they advise each other of, no, but the year we can do this. Anama Bambiri doesn't have papers. Yeah. Yeah. So, those so that them brings us to the issue of land, which is truly what the, 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 the fear is. Mm -hmm. The whole issue about expropriation of land without compensation. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you make it palatable? And I know that you're saying, we're not scared of this and mm. we're not supposed to listen to mm. that. How do you make it palatable to people? Because, frankly, you know, I had a conversation with somebody from Afri Forum a couple mm. of years ago. Mm -hmm. And I asked him a simple question. Let me, Chief, when you've got 30 hectares yes. Yes. of land and you live on two hectares, mm -hmm. and two hectares is a big, a big piece more. of land, right? Even if you put a massive house, you still have, yes, yes. like, you won't even see where the sun is setting. Mm. But let's say you have five hectares, just mm -hmm. to be to be mm -hmm. silly, right? Why, why can't we give up this other twenty-five and and give it to other people? Mm -hmm. Because actually, you are not using it, mm -hmm. right? Is that the kind of approach that you may uh, 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 use to implement this thing when you actually now have the power, right? Yes. Or people must just run, must mm -hmm. just know that you have the two or three hectares doesn't matter. All that man that land doesn't belong to you anymore. I think that sometimes w w maybe we must simplify this thing for them. EFF is in power on the 1st of June. What do you do on expropriation? R by, mind you, you and the ANC failed together and all the black parties mm -hmm. in the last five years to do what the resolution was already giving you a check to do. Yes. Well, you can't say you and the ANC failed together. The yeah. ANC chickened out at the last minute, and you must put the blame where it matters. Yeah. The ANC at the last minute, after we canvassed the whole country, yeah. majority of people said expropriate land without compensation. Yeah. Submission said expropriate land without compensation. Yeah. You are saying to me, people are scared. Which people? Because I've been all over South Africa. Parliament has been all over South Africa. Yeah. You can go and find that. 
in parliament yeah. where majority of people said expropriate land without compensation yeah. and do what this guy of mine did mm. in midval he didn't chase away the white man yeah he said you've got too much big the land and you are not using it yeah. all of it so take your portion i take my, my portion, portion then we use we the land share. Offer. but you can't do that if you don't own the land yeah so you first make the state the custodian of, of the, the land. land you say every piece of land it's including Malema's house state. is owned by the state yeah but we will know yes Malema's house you yeah. can't tamper with it your property must include the building on top of the land yeah then once that is being allocated we know uh, there is a uh, alex mall there is this th this land is used for this then there is this idling land mm. what do you do with it you give to the landless why should alexander be the way it is when there is a, a big open land next to it the other one is there by uh, mall of africa yeah. they even developed it that the family yeah a, 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 it's it's 99 year lease now waterfall. but that land is owned by f one family yeah and then the rich the most clever blacks with money go there yeah to buy properties that are leased for 99 years yes. mm -hmm. and they say we can't lease from the state but they're yeah. prepared to lease from one from family. family yeah so what this is just hypocrisy yeah that's why i said to you they don't mean it mm. they don't own proper and the bad thing with that one of a uh, a uh, 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 waterfall is that when the lease finishes yeah your children or great-grandchildren they don't have a right to inherit that land once the lease finishes they must still buy they mm. must get enter into a new lease yeah and buy so we are suggesting what is being done in waterfall already already yeah. but by a private company mm. the people who are saying to you uh, these people can't take our land what what they are staying in flats flats and uh, they are given sectional title deeds that you own here mm. but they don't own the land where they were prepared to buy apartments mm. and flats most of these people are staying in estates that are not owned by them but they've got a problem with the state ownership so it's not real the yeah. obsession that our people are obsessed with the piece of paper called the title deed is not true the most effective way we give the land to the state we yeah. allocate wherever is already allocated you yeah. are there don't move then do you the get a I sense that south africa is ready for that it is south africa told you JJ, we did public hearings on expropriation of land yeah. without compensation. The ANC. That's why you nearly beat up uh, Teralagwada. He was telling me nothing. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to come here and meet Gwede because he is going to talk nonsense and I'll answer him. Because I don't care about age, I care about wisdom. Yeah. You can be old and be stupid. There are old people without wisdom, a lot. Yeah. And they are young people with too much wisdom and you I want to link where into this thing about ANC and EFF mm -hmm. because it, it, it's relevant in the context of what you try to do on the land. You went to, to put a, then a, they said, a resolution. No, expropriate the land yeah. without compensation, but it must be a rotten land. What do you do with a rotten land? They say this you must expropriate the state owned land. Yeah. It's already ours. Well, how can we expropriate what is ours? Yeah. No, and they were pretending to be yeah, understand, but can and then they say the EFF sold out. Is that we were not going to vote for rotten land? Is that we want yeah. Santen City? So is that a deadlock in your view? Because I, I, I want to believe that should you come to a, a situation where you are on the table to try to negotiate some kind of a deal with the ANC, the land issue is going to be number one. Yes. Not not just because it's your thing as yes. the top of your agenda, but the yeah. ANC, that's why the ANC was founded. So, when, so it should be something that's common between the two of you. When I was in the ANC and Balega Mbete was a, a national chairperson, when she spoke about the land and how the Economic Commission at the CODESA yeah. sidelined the issue of the land, you, 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 you know, it feels like she wants to cry about it because she knows the originality of where this compromise mm. was made. So we will never miss each other with the ANC on the land question because the ANC went to Nazareth and said we must expropriate without compensation mm. but elected wrong leadership 
which who, who got did not scared, pursue that, who were scared that to resolution. pursue the resolution. Mm. Unlike 1944, when the Youth League was formed and took a resolution, including uh, the program of action yeah. to revive the ANC and to radicalize the South African struggle, the Youth League went to ANC 1949 conference and made the ANC to adopt its own resolutions. And then did not end there and said, we need correct people to come and lead this. That's when they elected the correct leadership. Yeah. Walter Sisulu was in that leadership. Uh, Nelson was in that leadership. Uh, uh, Oar Tambo was in that leadership. Because they knew that we have got a progressive policy yeah. to take up arms against the murderous regime. Yeah. But these pastors will not implement arms. We need people who are going to take up arms. Do you think there is a hope between you and the ANC in terms of collaboration in the, on a bigger scale? I'm not talking municipal. We, we, look, we are not far from the... We, we, we are not, we, what we are demanding yeah. is what was the original demand of 1912 when the revolution yeah. started in South Africa. So uh, we are demanding the fundamental cause of what made us to be where we are. We are demanding that which was sold out at Kodesa. We are the original ANC because our policy is exactly that. These guys wanted the land and said the land must be returned to the rightful After owners. the break, I want to talk to you about Ekuruleni and yeah. whether or not it's a good test case for such a collaboration. Just now... Just last week, the mm -hmm. mayor was, 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 was taken out, and it, it didn't look like that was a common agreement between what is supposed to be coalition partners as we speak now. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about that after the break. It's Frank Dialogue on your radio uh, with uh, Julius Malema, who is the CIC of the EFF. Stay tuned for more conversation after the break. I, think if they, I wrote uh, a letter mm. uh, through the Secretary General mm. to National Director of Prosecution. Yeah. To prosecute Cyril, there was a case. There was an investigation on Busasa yeah. by a lead prosecutor mm. who went to make a presentation. No, during the presentation in one of the meetings of the NPA, mm. asked Financial Intelligence Center, mm. can you help me with this issue of uh, Busasa paying uh, Cyril's son money? Yeah. Uh, and when he was about to conclude his submission, Bato said, stop it. Yeah, that is not for this kind of meeting. Yeah, we'll talk privately, and as a result, took the target away. Yeah, uh, from this guy, and then Z Zondo, with all his weaknesses, mm. said Gwede must be prosecuted. Yes, and Gwede doesn't deny that he got he swallowed cameras. Mm. That's why he walks like that, F stomach full of stolen cameras of Busasa. Mm. Non Vula used to eat chickens every month, every every end of the every year. Every Christmas. Mm. Yeah, every Christmas. You know wh whose chickens are those? Are chickens for prisoners. It's food for prisoners. Mm. So, Busasa, you got a tender to cook for prisoners. Mm. And then in December, they buy more. Then the supplies get to be given to the ANC politicians. Mm. So, majority of those ANC leaders especially those ones of the women's league because Bosasa is a women's league company Project, it's like that yeah. thing we were calling lembede investment mm. in the youth league that's what Bosasa is yeah so most of those leaders of the women's league for sure chickens are crying in their stomachs because of how they were eaten from correctional service centers mm. Tabam Magueta says, after so many years i'm still waiting for, for invoice, invoice. Mm. what a stupid lie is that then all of these people they they say prosecute them nothing they are not prosecuted if you why, go, why do you think that's the case because it looks like Batoi is not living up to expectations i've just had uh, Gwere Mandashe here saying part of what they are they were trying to do over the last five years was to strengthen independent institutions mm -hmm. so that those are the institutions that then would prosecute mm -hmm. so it's not expected of them to prosecute themselves. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that's in summary that's what you were saying. You know why Batoi was taken there? Batoi was taken there to go and squash the case of Van Lochenberg of SARS, mm. of uh, that unit uh, they used to have at SARS. Mm. Remember, F uh, Van Lochenberg was already charged. Mm. And then the trial was running. In the middle of the trial, 
Batoi gets appointed, the first thing she does, she drops charges in the middle. Once you are there, it's no longer up to prosecution. The judge must make a decision yeah. about that. She was deployed there for that purpose, and she has served the purpose, and that was Bravin's deployment. So we, are you saying we must, we must, we must forget about a NPA prosecuting any of these guys who's been fingered even by the State Capture Commission? Okay, my brother, you are a journalist, and the good thing I like about you is that you are a professor of UNISA, you are in Pretoria. Make time to go and talk to prosecutors in the NPA. They will tell you how they've got so much evidence. I don't know how to, this one... To ones, prosecute? Yes. I don't know how this one survived of no view. Mm. But by look of things, you can see they've been trying by all means to squash it. Mm. The ANC Veterans League, that tells us every day about corrupt people and how corrupt people must be removed. Today, they praise no view for resigning but she's got integrity and she embarrasses them she says no i didn't just resign there is this woman called pemima jodina yeah who's pursuing me mm. and wanted me to be charged so that i can i can i can step aside mm. so you can hear that it was not about integrity she was pushed out by my jodina's whatsapp group yeah so a lot of guys a lot of guys will be prosecuted and they will be prosecuted successfully if Batoi was well, allowing well, the prosecutors yeah, to well do to, their well work. Be removed. So yes. I can imagine the EFF government will have to have a new NPA head. Absolutely. And you need an independent mm. um, prosecuting authority. Yeah. You need independent judiciary. You need infrastructural development. Yeah. That's what grows the economy. It's not those things of whether the land is owned by the state or not. I had a friend, China yeah. owns its own land. I had a friend it's one of dialogue the with your countries. deputy in Durban yes. recently, and I asked him, is he irritated by a constant reference to the fact that the EFF may not be better when it comes to dealing with corruption when it does ascend, given the VBS, whatever you may say or, or not say about the VBS, etc. And, and, and that was just after the parliamentary committee, yeah. the ethics committee said to him, sorry, we are, we are dealing with you. And I said to him, but has the EFF dealt with you similarly? Can you just deal with that once and for all? I mean, would the EFF government be less corrupt by, 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 by virtue just of being opposed to the current corrupt ones? The EFF government is not corrupt in a Gurulin. For so many months they've been mm. in power, you never arrested or accused any of them about any wrongdoing. Mm. The EFF government is not corrupt in Johannesburg. You've got MMC of uh, Public Safety and Health. Our MMC in Eteguin was removed for being in the forefront of service delivery. It mm. was not corrupt. We've got two MMCs in Nelson Mandela Bay, yeah. there's no corruption. The VBS was engineered yeah. to discredit the EFF. That's what I'm saying. There's always splitting of hairs. Yeah. To discredit the EFF by Praveen and them and uh, uh, Terry. Terry is still to apologize. This will haunt him to his grave. He must come and confess that he was used by Praveen, the whole senior cancer. Mm to tarnish the good image of the EFF. Yeah. People are arrested, my brother. Why do you keep on hammering on this point? The EFF has been fighting Ramaphosa. Yeah. The EFF is fighting Zondo that he was not properly appointed. The EFF is fighting Batoi. The yeah. EFF is fighting Noziviwe. Yeah. These people are a problem. Mm. And we have this evidence and we are the state. Why are you not acting on them? There are people who, there's already a white man, a former CFO of VBS who's in jail. Mm. What stops these people from prosecuting Malema and Shibambo yeah. if they've got evidence that these people were engaged in wrongdoing? Yeah. I've got no power. I can't stop any prosecutor. I can't uh, dictate to any powers that be yeah. that you can't charge me or you can charge me. I've so your government before. will be intolerant of corruption. It is intolerant now. It will be in future, even internally in the EFF. Yeah. Look at how we run our affairs. We run them professionally. We pay our salaries. We bought a building at the city center in less than 10 years. Parties have been here for centuries. Yeah. They don't pay salaries. They don't own a property. 
How will you pay salaries? How will you own property? We even own a farm where we're going to build a school. Yeah, paid. tell me about that school, by the way. You have been talking on social media. You say, where's this school? You said people mustn't vote for you. If your school is not there in five years, just deal with that quickly for me. The school is there. The farm has been bought. Yeah. The plans have been approved. Yeah. Material, no, the plans have been drawn. Yeah. Material is ready. There are professionals uh, uh, yeah. who are working So when will the school be ready? No, wait. Then that Mogali city. Yeah. Is not approving the plans. They say it's an agricultural land. <laughs> we have to now, <laughs> what do you call it? Rezone, rezone, yeah. The thing. And then when we are about to rezone the thing, those Africaners there in Mahalisbeg yeah. are objecting yeah. uh, to the rezoning of agriculture. But you still insist it will happen? It's going to happen. Yeah. Because it's the powers that be which are blocking it. Yeah. It, it will happen. It's happening now. And remember, in that five years, We've got two years that were not functional of COVID. Mm. We are now three years in office, effectively. Mm. But still, we did all manner of things. There's nothing, there's no one who asked us for a school. We have no obligation to build a school. Mm. We chose to do that. Yeah. We took a decision to do it. Yeah. So why do you talk like it was in an EFF manifesto? It's not a manifesto. Yeah. It's a Congress resolution. It's an internal EFF yeah. NPA And it's still issue. going to happen. It will happen. There's nothing that I yeah. said to you will happen and never come to pass. Except the, uh, the total shutdown of the grid. You did say it will be we shut down in two weeks. Well, you know <laughs> that these yeah. guys, when they were supposed to do what they were supposed to do, yeah. they were not doing it. When I said there will be a total shutdown of the grid, yeah. I was waking them up, yeah. and they knew that this is real. We now have to intervene. That's why I told you that time. Yeah. These guys met with the CIA, and CIA told them, if you don't do what you have to do, yeah. this thing is going to collapse. And once this thing collapses, we're out. So you think Ramakopa did a good job? I mean, it, 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 It's not him. That thing yeah. is uh, public relations. Ramakopa has got no capacity, none whatsoever, to do anything good. If you doubt, go and ask the residents of Swan. Mm. This DA is presiding over a rotten Swan, and mm. w with action, they say we're blaming them. Mm. But they inherited it yeah. from Ramkhopa. So there's nothing... Ram Ramkhopa, it's a, it's a fashionista who, who thinks he dresses smart and wants to appear on TV... Uh, and and I don't know what else does he do. The guy messed up. Swani, Swani became the home of slay queens mm. under Ramukhupa and that guy who died was a speaker. Mm. If you go to the office of the speaker today in Swan and find the slay queens that are there, hired by these two, th th those people exist for for fame, for likes, for. For, for nice cities, they don't exist to change the lives of our people. That's why yeah. he's is it going fair, Is it fair, though, to, to judge his job as electricity minister uh, 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 against his failure at, at, at Swani? I mean, no, I'm no, just talking I'm, about I'm now. I'm judging his job now. Yeah. He's earning a salary, but the lights are still off. The lights are off. What will Unless EF you are saying to me, uh, load shedding is a what result. E what will EFF do differently? If we were to, to be in office tomorrow and you have to replace Ramokupa with whoever it is that's mm -hmm. clever, right? Mm -hmm. What will you do and how quickly? Well, what we are going to do is to ensure that there is a, a mixed energy, energy source. Yeah. Maintain the existing coal power stations. Yeah. Make sure they are functional optimally mm. and get the best engineers to do the job. Yeah. And ensure that those who don't do their job and are corrupt are removed from responsibilities. Yeah. That's the immediate thing you can do. So you need to maintain the coal power stations, yeah. use them optimally, and ensure that when you service this power station, yeah. you have generated enough megawatts yeah. to can afford to shut this one down and be able to use the reserves that you have. Yeah. By the time this maintenance finishes, yeah. if the megawatts are low, you open this. Why other do you think they can't do that now? I mean, it's corruption. They, they've appointed a good CEO, I think. I mean, no, the, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very good guy. Yeah. I know him. I grew up with that guy. Yeah. We were together mm. in the ANC. One of the most ethical people mm. that I think will do the job. Yeah. But he's surrounded by, he's surrounded yeah. by highness.
Sure. And uh, very soon they will destroy him. Uh, because that's what they do. A good, disciplined person doesn't get rewarded in the ANC government. Do, they reward do you think the that they appointed him deliberately no, just before an election? No, 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 no. They had no option this time because there was an internal revolt even among them. Mm. You brought a white male incompetent, mm. and therefore we are not going to overlook mm. the African who's competent, who's got the necessary mm. expertise to mm. be here. So their Pravin didn't have this way. Mm. And, and they were prepared to revolt against that. Mm. So it was not because of their choice. Yeah. Uh, everybody was now saying enough is enough now. Yeah. So we need to use gas. Mm. We need to source gas. There are a lot of things that we should take over. So we need to switch over. Yeah. Uh, uh, for instance, why should they be cooking with the electricity uh, stove when there is e e efficient gas stoves? Mm -hmm. uh, why should they be heating of water through electric geysers? There are so many things we can switch into gas yeah. and save a lot of electricity. That's a policy and issue and, 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 and something that the, the public themselves can stay taking up. Um, uh, you know, for example, the issue about subsidy on solar. I mean, would, would, would EFF Absolutely. Just subsidize solar. That's to why I say people. to you, you need a mixed source of energy. Yeah. You cannot rely on one. You have to find solar, uh, you have to find wind, you have to use uh, coal as your base. Yeah. You can't s shut down coal. You can't say to me, shut down this coal power station. That gives me 1,000 megawatts. And then there is no alternative clean, green energy. That gives me 1,000 megawatts. I will never shut it down. And that money that Cyril went to take and said, will shut down our coal power stations. Yeah. You will see how he pays them. Because we will not shut down our electricity for a non existing yeah, we alternative. We a full conversation about yes. about electricity on a different on a different dialogue. But mm -hmm. I've got limited time and I want to sure. deal with a few more political issues. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly deal with coalitions. Yes. And you can use Ekurulin as an example. Yeah. Do you think you do have a hope that should the NC fall below fifty percent, that we can have a decent conversation that can result in a coalition government that can actually function. Do you know we had a functional government here in Johannesburg when the EFF uh, put a mayor called Herman Mashaba <laughs> through the DA? Yeah. It was working so well, mm. delivering so well. Mm. Mashaba was doing everything we said to him must do. Mm. Mashaba didn't know Elias Mutuale the squadra camp was taken by the EFF there. Mm. Those toilets he provided was us. Mashaba didn't know Alexander. He stays here. He didn't know Alexander. He came, was brought here yeah, by the EFF to do cleanup campaign. Yeah. Yeah. So we, and we were not in government. Yeah. We just said, guys, do this thing. Yeah. We're going to support you. How can a capitalist of note say we must insource uh, security guards? We insourced security guards here. Mm. Mashaba, if he was implementing a DA policy, yeah. in which DA policy was they insourcing of of cleaners and security guards. So we are not driven by ego. What makes the coalition to fail yeah. is not because people can't work together. Yeah. It's because the so-called bigger parties yeah. are driven by egos and want to dictate as if they won elections when they've not won elections. The first mm. thing you need to do when you don't get 50%, you must know anything is possible. Yeah. You know you're from Teflop. People used to lead SRC yeah. as president, coming from SCO. Yeah. Or uh, some guy is popular, uh, he's an independent, he's coaching netball. Yeah. And from there he gets elected <laughs> as number one. And then Sasko just needs one vote. Yeah. There's a guy who became a president of SRC in Teflio yeah. called Bafana. Yeah. His popularity was netball. One vote. That guy said, no, I must be a president. Yeah, and we made him a president, but took everything, because the ANC and the DA can't differentiate between power and the glory. Mm. That's why the EFF was able to say in Ikurlin, "Well, put this mayor. We don't mind. We don't care. Yeah, but we need five MMCs. Why? We knew that's where the power is. Yeah, the mayor must cut ribbons, but." Whose ribbons, which, whose projects is the mayor going to cut ribbons for? It's our projects. We decide where this thing goes. Yeah. So 
the ANC can't differentiate, and a lot of people can't mm. differentiate between power and the glory. I'm prepared to give the EFF vote to the ANC. Mm. Nationally, if he doesn't get, if he doesn't get yeah. fifty percent, you don't need the glory of being a deputy president. No, I don't need that. Yeah. Then I will I make one demand: make Floyd Shibambo Minister of, of Finance. Finance. Yeah. That's all. I think they are going to refuse that. Once we take that finance, because that's where the problem is, and the president Ramaphosa knows that. Yeah. The problem in this country is the Department of Finance mm. that is owned and controlled by Stellenbosch mm. and which engages in anti-poor policies. Mm. You need a radical. And it is so disappointing that a guy like Maso, David Masondo, who, by the way, taught us these things that we are talking about, yeah. goes there and the next thing is counted in dinners with the Rupets and them. Because we thought with the introduction of that guy, yeah. That thing is going to be radicalized. You don't think he can be, be the next minister of finance if the NC was in total I, power? I, I will not support him. He can, they can decide. I don't care who they decide. It's their own thing. Yeah. But I'm saying to you, if I've got this power, yeah. that I can influence which decision. Yeah. I'm not obsessed with being president or deputy president. You know that conventions are taking place. I can outsign a president. Yeah. If you make me a minister of sports, arts, and culture, that's probably why they you will think I will be, I'm a that's president. That's probably the, what, the, why they're nervous. Don't you think so that... They're the, not the, nervous. Part of the conversations in the NC about coalescing with the EFF is more about personality that they can't stand to 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 to, to imagine you as deputy president of a, of it, a country. It's, it's, you see, my my problem yeah. and what is going to kill me mm. is a generational jealousy mm. and envy, mm. and not from anyone, from the people I grew up with, mm. from the people I supported. They are the ones who are like, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah, so. I, I don't care about generational jealousy. Yeah. I can die and uh, five times and still wake up. I will still find them where they are. That's what they are. So said i killed the youth league right yeah but do you know that our youth league of the ANC, not of the ANC Youth League. of the ANC when we organize a youth league 2011 gathering in the history of the
solution no, for the, uh, this one. To say go. not this one and why? Yeah. Yes. But I think that was a bit of an irritation because you, you did tweet that that was sort of distracting you from the work that was. Did you speak there. about Naledi? You're making your own assumptions. Yeah. And then you want to put me. Yeah. In your own so you interpretation. No, I didn't talk about it. <laughs> tell me about. about I, I, I don't have a problem Carl, with it. Tell that. me about Carl Nios. A lot of people say this guy just arrived and he's already number twenty on the list. They them blame, blame their own leaders. Remember, we went to yeah. Mabida. After yeah. Mabida, immediately we had a, a, a list. Yes. Carl Nios shocked me. Yeah. But not oh, only sh shocked, shocked by, me. By, by how he, he was he, too he, high. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, Muzwanel, mine. Yeah. Was too high. And. Uh, Busisiwa Mkweban, yeah, too high. We have never so had to had intervene. To do with with, we have never yeah. had to intervene yeah. with those people, for those people, so never. They, so you are saying they have their own constituency, even within EFF, that has propelled them to be where they are. Well, the EFF believes that there must now be an element of professionalism. Yeah, in, it's kind of Amanda, Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> there must be people who are professionals who yeah. understand this thing. And we've run some of the institutions before. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy has got a. Um, um, Zwanel is Zwanel, going to find hey, he's going to kill you. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> but hey. I know him from a long time ago. That's why I'm using wrong names. <laughs> he's yeah. got his own experience. Absolutely. Carl Niels was Nelson Mandela's spokesperson. Only accused of having lied about his mother passing away. Yeah. And collecting money from people. A mistake he has accepted mm. and sincerely apologized. Mm. Why do you still want to kill him? Because he's a white man who must continue what apartheid did to him mm. for saying uh, you are an outcast. No. And for parliament, there is no restriction of when did you join. Yeah. No. For parliament, you can join today and go to parliament tomorrow. Yeah, I see that. But for the EFF structures, yeah. you cannot. So Mzwanele, uh, Busisiwe Mkwebani, Carl Niaus, and them. Yeah. Um, um, Mzobe in KZN, we're going to conference now of the EFF in December. Yeah. They don't qualify to stand for the strike because what is important to us is to safeguard the organization called the EFF and be led by people that we know have been in the trenches with us yeah. for a particular uh, period. Once we secure the EFF, there's no nothing we can't secure because yeah. if you go to parliament and you are a wrong person with a secured, solid organization, we can recall you be, uh, from parliament. And there's nothing we can do. We've yeah. recalled them before. They thought they were powerful. I'm told you've got one or two calls. So let's, oh, sorry. let's see whether we can take one or two calls before we round off tonight. Good evening. Go for it. Good evening. Okay, it doesn't look like we've got that any call, eh? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, all right. It uh, looks like that that's, yeah. that's, that's not happening. Th let's talk about, as we round off the, 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 the question, the last constituency now, the LGBTQ plus community. You know, is, what, what's the EFF putting on the table for that community? Because it looks like they seem to be marginalized. They're not, they're not a big election issue, etc. No. Round, round off my conversation with that. The, uh, the LGBTQ plus community, <laughs> EFF is their home. Yeah. They know that. And uh, they know that the EFF has always advocated for their rights. Yeah. We were the only organization <laughs> that marched to Uganda to fight for LGBTQ plus Communities' rights in Uganda. Yeah. <coughs> then we went to the uh, UCT to have a, a, a lecture yeah. uh, with uh, Prof. Lumumba. Lumumba. And, and you were lambasted for that. Because uh, and he, no, because we're not. La it, we're not lambasted. Yeah. We're not lambasted. It was manufactured. Manufactured. Outcry <laughs> by that uh, uh, constitutional expert from UCT. Yeah. Who did not organize any protest? Yeah. Against Museveni. Yeah. Museveni, who signed this into law, yeah. you are marching against the person who says, I support this. <laughs> but the person who enacted this it's not, it's was, not here, against, was yeah. here in South Africa. Yeah, and it nobody so marched much. against him. Yeah. Only the EFF. Which other president have you ever seen wearing the rainbow flag in all of these political parties except the president of the EFF? This is the home of everyone. Black, yeah. white, Indian, colored, 
uh, in all forms of gender yeah they are more than welcome into this organization we don't judge people on the basis of their appearance we judge people on the basis of their ideological orientation and the support for the working class that's yeah. all a lot of people uh, uh, lambasting you for changing your views on judge Chobe. Uh, uh, you know, four or five years down the line. Mm. Just deal with that once and for all. No, no, no. I didn't change any uh, views about Judge Klopp. Yeah. I'm saying to you, yeah. I, I can disagree with you, my brother, yeah. too much. Me and you disagreed Many a lot. Times. Yeah. And we're not far apart now. Yeah. And then it doesn't make you a flip-flopper. Yeah. You got exposed to certain things <laughs> and appreciation and you were like, okay, but it looks like there can be something out of this. Yeah. People. So explain so, the one. So Trope yeah. was was treated unfairly, despite whatever I said about him. Yeah. He didn't deserve <laughs> that kind of punishment. Yeah. I, I disagreed with him, but you can't say a judge who says we're relying on you guys yeah. and you say that is an impeachable impeachable yeah. offense. I did not disagree with Judge Trope for Judge Trope to die. Yeah. No, I'm going to disagree with a lot of people yeah. uh, politically. Uh, but wh when you unfairly treat them, yeah. I will never agree with that. I will defend your right, my brother, to disagree with me. Yeah. But I'm not going to allow someone to violate you yeah. because I disagree with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there, is there a caller? I, I, I go, go ahead. Hello. Oh, good, good evening. Go ahead. What's your question? Uh, I don't have a question, rather to compliment the CIC. Uh, my name is Apel from KZN, a comrade, a fighter. I wanted to com to compliment the CIC. Indeed, we are going to deliver you, and we are very happy to have a president like you. Thank you very much, CIC. You have encouraged a lot, continue to do a good job, and yeah, that's all I can say. I thank you. Thank you very much. I think that will thank be a good, good note to leave it on. So, yeah. union buildings, you are marching in. We have started marching to union building that day when we're celebrating 10 years anniversary yeah. of the EFF. Yeah. That's where it was made very clear yeah. that this organization has grown so much and is prepared to lead uh, this country. So you have kept me here for too long. I'm going to dinner of Tibor Taj. It's his birthday today. Oh, is that so? Do, do, yeah. do pass my greetings so to I him. So I was supposed to be there by <laughs> 7 o'clock. So. But thank you very much for yeah, your time. Thank I really you, appreciate no, no. it. All the best with the remaining thank time you. towards thank the 29th of May. Thank you. It's thank always you. nice to talk to you. Thank, thank you, you so much. That's the CIC of the EFF, Julius Malema, here on the Frank Dialogue on your radio. That was our election festival. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope that uh, uh, we will be...